we're in a dire situation here. And the city has known all along that we've had old pipes underneath our roads, and it's almost like a time bomb. We don't know when these roads are going to collapse. Three times this week, North 4th Street sank. New State Representative Patty Kim and State Senator Rob Teplitz surveyed the half a block long sinkhole. An 1890 sewer pipe eroded, created the vacuum that sucked up the street. Now Harrisburg is home to 160 miles of underground pipeline. The majority is old and potentially dangerous. And it is a mess. Uh, what happens is a lot of people would rather put a Band-Aid on things and what you don't see, you don't pay attention to. For years and years, we've either misused our money on artifacts or we've tried to pay our bills on a monthly basis and have ignored situations like this, and here we are. Busted and broke. City officials confess this project already burned most of the 2013 Public Works budget. Now, Kim and Teplitz urged Governor Tom Corbett to get $3.5 billion in federal transportation bill money, and they say that will trickle down to the city. We are in a dire situation. People's lives are at stake. Thank God no one died in the sinkhole. Uh, the squeaky wheel gets the most oil. And that's what I'm and Rob and I are going to be doing, is just fighting and fighting and asking more for funding because we cannot ha let this happen again. Water flowed from broken pipes once again. Drilling home how much Harrisburg is sinking deeper in infrastructure debt. This is the area where we had the water main break over the weekend, uh, the Cameron Street line. Shannon Williams with the Harrisburg Authority showed us the city's water line map, a complex schematic with one simple problem. Harrisburg houses more than 160 miles of underground pipe, and the majority, like this one, date back to the late 1800s was constructed in 1884. We are likely going to have more projects than we will have money to be able to, to spend. So we're trying to find out what can we afford and then phasing the projects over a time frame so that we, we get what we need. Step one, identify how bad the problem is. This week, an authority plan will be unveiled to buy special equipment, turn this analog map into a digital database so that we can be proactive, locate where issues may arise, and deal with them before the issues happen. Water and sewer lines are just as elaborate as the relationship between the authority and the city. However, negotiations are underway for authority to take full control. We want it done right. The past, past behaviors have been, let's get it quickly so we can have political gain, but that's not what this is all about. This is about recovery. And that is one thing both can agree on. Then again, water is vital to everybody. Our grandfathers' grandfathers invested a lot of money uh, in this city for their love of the city, and I think it's about time that we did that again. Four months after part of a street collapsed in Harrisburg, residents are still recovering from that sinkhole on 4th Street, and that's not the only sinkhole that is causing headaches. Dave Marcheski is live with the details in Harrisburg. Dave. Well, Flora, as you can see, 4th Street here is still in despair. If we bend down, nothing but rocks really cover the road here. Now, today, we tracked down Mayor Thompson. She says as early as next week, 4th Street here could begin the final steps to be fixed. But then again, people living here, well, next week can't come soon enough. The whole block now, we're like a ghost town. Everybody has moved. Cynthia Robinson never imagined rocks and city barricades would still flood 4th Street four months after a massive sinkhole here. And the last time she saw progress... Two months ago. Two months ago. Now, Robinson demands answers. Linda, we've seen you here once on this block. When are you going to come back and talk to us and, you know, get, this, get the problem resolved? You've been here once. You promised us a lot of things, and it's time for re-election. How are you going to get re-elected if you hadn't accomplished anything? So we sat down with Mayor Thompson to find out. So we're hoping that we'll be able to have 4th Street finally done and resurfaced and paved, you know, by, 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 by the, the mid part of June, if not earlier than that. Before completion, Thompson says gas companies UGI must once again dig open the street, lay new lines. I can't wait till they get it finished. And it's terrible. We have to go all the way around. Frustration was felt a few blocks over near Munich and Schuylkill. Another sinkhole this month, another resident uh, fed up. And no one has ever fixed nothing. Funds to fix are gone. Thus far, sinkhole costs hover around $745,000. But the public works budget for 2013 400,000. 
Mayor Thompson urges city council to approve a $1.7 million PennVest state loan in hopes to repair more than just streets. So just going forward, we just want to minimize the inconvenience to residents. A lot's happening in the city here, and uh, we want to make sure we minimize those angry calls coming into the mayor's office. <laughs> Now get this, PennVest won't consider the city's loan offer until the 2011 audit is complete. But Mayor Thompson told me today, well, that audit should be done by sometime in mid-May, just in time for that loan deadline. Working for you in Harrisburg, Dave Marcheski, ABC 27 News. Strange noises, weird equipment, pink lines everywhere. Harrisburg residents have noticed the odd activity, but the Real stories underground are Dave Marcheski live in Harrisburg to explain, Dave. Well, hey, Dennis, you may have seen these, these pink lines. Check it out. Now, they are on every street here in Uptown, starting here at 4th and Vaughn, where we are, all the way down to Radnor Street. And they go from Front Street all the way west to Cameron Street as well. So that's a good thing, actually, because actually pink means progress. Space-like sounds painting city streets pink. People wanted to know, what's up with these guys in yellow vests? These pink lines, they're everywhere, all up and down the back streets and everything. Crews began geographical information system mapping, better known as GIS. They're updating Harrisburg's century-old underground maps, making them digital. A tricky process, much like switching gramophone records to MP3. And what got many people's attention... Just go like, you know... You know, they're, they're just tracking. The funky equipment. This leaf blower looking wand is a high tech sonar system. Bounces magnetic frequencies off metal pipes, sends data back to this digital box. Then there's this ground penetrating radar. This lawnmower looking machine looks for voids underneath, records data also. A site that made Daryl Smith stop his yard work. It's unique, modern day technology. People are witnessing baby steps in fixing Harrisburg's aging infrastructure. Smith will gladly watch these guys crawl in order to walk above ground without fear of sinkholes. We definitely in need. We are definitely in need. And I can appreciate that. Now, don't be alarmed. You'll see these pink lines and these crews go block by block over the next six months here within the city to do this GIS mapping. Now, tonight, the Harrisburg Authority has its meeting. It just started, so you still have some time to head down to its Locust Street office to find more and learn more about this.